Ang ex na sasakyan mo ay nandito na. Without further ado, pasok intro. What's up, kabaleros? At nandito na kami para i-review ang ex mo. Ayeste ang Ronin X Electric Scooter. Yan. At para sa ngayon, nagdi-discuss natin ang tatlong objectives natin. Miko, discuss it muna kung ano yung tatlong piece for today. Alright, so yung mga piece natin, of course, number one is the parts of this electric scooter. Number two is the performance tests. And number three, of course, are the pros and cons of the Ronin X. At para sa parts ng electric scooter na to, sisimulan na natin, boinks, at Miko, iwan ko na sa inyo at ako'y mawawala na muna. In 3, 2, 1! Alright, Kabalero. So, sisimula natin ngayon sa top, going down, to the back. Alright? So, para sa handlebar, as you can see, we're gonna start from left to right. So, we have your handle grips, which is rubber. And meron siyang slight na palm rest para dun sa mga hindi mahilig sa palm rest. And the grips are very soft and out of the box, it's really good. And then from there, we have here your Bluetooth-enabled signal lights, horn, and alarm. Alarm, yes. That's already included in the overall package. Miko will further discuss what's inside that uh, device that's already connected here to our Ronin X. X. Right? And if we would go down a bit, we have here your Echo Turbo, your dual and single mm -hmm. buttons which is always there. Yes. And then as we move on, as you can see, the handlebar is one big piece mm -hmm. of handlebar. There are actually options to have a single handlebar or a folding one. Mm -hmm. You just need to inquire with Ronin scooters. All right. So moving on to the right hand side, we have here your throttle, which is waterproof. As you can see, it's very tough and mm -hmm. looks like no water can sip in inside. You don't need to use the tricks of the trade just to protect your throttle if, if in case it breaks. So going back to the brakes, we have two, one on the left and one on the right. As with all electric scooters, the one on the left is the one for the back mm -hmm. and the one on the right is for your front brakes. And what kind of brakes do we have here? These are mechanical, mechanical brakes. Break it down, yo. <laughs> Alright. So from there, we have here your stem. As you can see, it already has stem lights. As you can see, we have here the words, the moving technology. It automatically has LED installed. It has different modes. And dami. colors. Super. Sobra. Sobrang dami. You have a lot of options once you got the app installed on your phone. Good for you, Ronin Scooter. So moving on, as we go down a bit, we have here your folding mechanism. Mm -hmm. Baka nagtataka kayo, bakit may kulay puti dito? This is actually a spring. The purpose of the spring is to ensure that the locking mechanism is in place properly. Because in other electric scooters, if you've seen this kind of locking mechanism, it's a bit difficult to get it right. And there are instances na hindi mo siya mabababa ng maayos, mm -hmm. even though you've already put it down kasi medyo matigas sa ilalim. So the spring actually helps ensure na nasa tamang pwesto yung locking mechanism right ng electric away. scooter. Yes. Right away. So once you put this up, as you can see later on the demo, on how to fold and unfold the scooter, you will immediately see the benefits of having this spring on the step. To start off, una kailangan yung luwagan yung knobs dito sa right hand side to make sure na malilift nyo yung lever on the other side of the electric scooter. Once you've already lifted the lever, magkakaroon kayo ng opportunity to push the locking mechanism up and then from there, you just need to make sure that you fold the stem down slowly. As you can see, we haven't finalized yet if there's a locking mechanism on this device. But I think Jake is already in the works to ensure that there's like a hook type mm -hmm. para madali siyang mabuha. Correct. Now, from there, you just need to do the reverse. And as you can see, pag uh, pull up ko nung stem, automatic bumaba yung locking mechanism. At hindi ko na siya kailangan i-adjust at tansyahin kung tama ba yung pagkakapwesto ko sa kanya. Which has been a problem 
with other electric scooters in the market. Mm. Now, moving on, so from there, you just need to ensure that the knobs are on the right fit para malak mo siya ng maayos before you close the lever. That's the only part that that's different when you lock and unlock this electric scooter. All right. And from there, I think, Nico, going from the front wheel to the back, all right, it's your turn. Okay. At hindi nyo maala na ang mag-like ng video to ay pinagpapala. Pero ang hindi mag-skip ng ads, ay mas pinagpapala. So don't skip the rest para mas marami pa tayong giveaway for In the future. future. So let's discuss first, syempre, kanina nasa harapan. Of course, you have your front wheel, of course. Una-una, the wheels na naka-install dyan are tubeless tires. The size is 9 by 3. We already asked if it is possible na i-upgrade siya into 10, and yes. Pero in my case, if you would ask me, the 9 by 3 is already good enough. As for the hubs naman ng electric scooter ito, so both hubs natin has a 1,000 watt power. Makikita nyo na yung, of course, yung performance later on sa ating part 2 ng review na ito. So moving forward, of course, we have your swing arms sa kulay silver. Next natin is the suspension. Later on din sa ating performance, as makikita ninyo kung ano yung naging resulta. So, moving forward, let's go to the deck. Ito na. So, yung deck natin, sa taas ito, of course, it has a rubber mat. Very symbolic. By just the looks of it, nakita ko agad yung logo ng dojo. If you have been to Ronin, merong malaking kulay po lang dojo logo sa harapan niyan. Kung hindi nyo pa nakita, click the i button right here kasi nireview natin ang kanilang shop. Ayan. Dito, panoorin ang i-button na to. Click, click, click. Okay? So, going back, we have your running logo sa umpisa. And maraming simbolism, ha? Boeing's FYI. Actually, sabi so, nga ni Jake. Di ba ang saya? Sobrang so, dami hindi niya na maalala kung So, may kalala. blade. Fox daw is something related to protection. May mga simbolism. Uh, ano yung, may whips dyan? Alam niyo na yun. Lalim, no? Ang lalim. Hmm. <laughs> lalim ng creation nung rubber mat. That's an indicator of how yung touch nung owners dun sa unit kung kaano yung pagpili nung parts. Sa sides ito, we can see that there are LED lights natin. The moving technology by 2021. It's the same as with dun sa ating stem lights. Of course, we have eagle eye na kulay puti sa harapan and red sa likuran na nagbiblink kapag ikaw ay nagbibrake. Meron din itong installed na separate pa na signal lights na meron ding park lights na meron pang tunog pati hazard lights at, yes may hazard lights din yan so para mas maintindihan ninyo kung ano ba yung tunog na tinutukoy namin dito sa signal lights Yan. And take note that this is removable but as mentioned earlier, kasama ito sa package ng unit. Sa lakas ng ating alarm system, pakinggan nyo to. There you go. Di ba lakas? So, moving down tayo, of course, your second suspension sa ating likod, syempre, meron tayo dyan. It's the same one na naka-install sa harapan. What's inside sa ating unit? This one has a 20 AH battery and of course, the controller is 52 volts. Meron tayong dalawang naka-install na charging ports. At saan makikita? Sa taas, nasa deck, malapit sa bridge ng stem. So, this is unlike your usual electric scooters mm -hmm. na nasa gilid yung charging port. Or nasa likod. Yes, which is very prone to get wet <laughs> in case nakalimutan yung ilock yung rubber cap uh -huh. pag tapos yung mag-charge. Is it familiar to your situation? Yes, yes. <laughs> it, it has happened a lot of times. So, as you can see, the charging port does not affect your riding stance. Does it affect when there's strain? Actually, no, because this electric scooter is IP5X. Proof. Parang running X lang talaga. <laughs> yes. Ito ang nag-iisang X na iuuwi mo sa bahay. <laughs> of course, ating deck, we can also see that there is a step board na available dyan, which is also useful. Plus, meron din siyang butas. I think it's also useful for gripping kapag bubuhatin yung unit. Pero it's also possible na pwedeng dyan din ilagay yung, ano, locking, yung mechanism. locking mechanism yes, para mas madali siyang buhatin. The last part is we have, of course, your second wheel with, again, that's 9 by 3 one thousand watt hub mechanical brakes for this unit meron din itong EBS that's electronic braking system FYI and these are the parts of the Ronin X so let's move on to our next which is the performance test so price will come in boinks take it away <laughs> oh, oh. hello So, yun nga tayo mga kabalyer. Pag-uusapan na natin ang performance test ng electric scooter na to at para simulan ang ating performance test, ang mga atikabong mga tests 
<laughs> Sisimulan natin para suspension test. Suspension test. Nang electric scooter na to. All right. So, how did it go? All right. So, well, it is not me na sumakay dito sa unit at nagtatatalon kanina no to test the suspension. But as you can see in our video, ayan, sa ating suspension test na may katigasan as per Boeing's experience yung ating suspension. However, nabanggit din kanina kasi na pwede siyang palitan, pwede siyang i-upgrade if you want. If you want a softer or a more different type of suspension, pwede siyang palitan ng aftermarket if you prefer to. Pero if you will ask me, is this enough? Yes. So, may play naman siya. Oo, may play siya. Although it's on the firmer or tougher side, pero hindi siya masyadong kapansin-pansin. At babanggit ko mamaya sa pros kung ano yung advantage kapag ganito ang klase ng suspension ng yung electric scooter. Yeah. Mamaya, malalaman niya sa pros, abangan niya. Thank you, sir. Moving on tayo para sa ating pangalawang performance test at ang aking pinakpaborito, alam niyo na yan. Ang Torque Chur Test sa ating Torque Chur Hill. <laughs> Ito na tayo. Paano nangyari lahat? Okay, so alam niyo na ang ating usual mode. So, we start with gear 3, single, of course, with buelo. Always on turbo. Always on turbo. Okay, so makikita ninyo sa ating torture test, sa ating first level. Yan, na may buelo. Mabilis ang aking pagakyat at ang tanong, nakakit ba ako? The answer is, yes. Nakakyat at walang hirap. Hindi ko naramdaman na hirapin yung unit, to be honest. Now, para iangat yung hirap ng ating torture test. Next difficulty naman. Yes, level 2 tayo. So, ano ba yung level 2 natin? Walang buwelo. Walang na buwelo. Gear 3 single gear hub. Gear 3 single hub. Ayan. So, nung wala ng buwelo, ito na yung kabilang perspective naman ng ating kwento. Na-challenge yung unit natin. Hard for me to say, unfortunately, hindi siya nakaakyat. Halfway. Halfway, actually. So, End of cam, a little did you know mm-hmm. na trinine mismo ng owner doon naman sa medyo left side na not that steeper na climb. Uh-oh. Nakaakyat siya to the end of the torque yes. test. Oh, and by the way, ayun, speaking of which, buti nabanggit mo rin. Kasi nagmamatter din syempre yung climbing ability ng isang scooter, ng isang unit. Based on the rider's weight. Yes, based on the rider's weight. At, ano, ang rider's weight? <laughs> the rider's weight is 78 kilograms. That's me. So, the rider's weight naman, the ni owner's Jake. weight ni Jake is 75. So, may difference kami na 3 kilograms. Tapos, dun pa siya dumaan sa lesser steep. So, talagang so, nakakit siya. Yes, there's a possibility na mas makakit talaga. But of course, as we all know, ginagamit ba natin ang single lap kapag umakyat. So, which leads us sa ating next na torture test. Yeah. yeah. So, ang ginawa natin is gear 1 na dual hub na walang well. Yeah. So, how did it go? Okay. So, kung makikita ninyo sa ating test, I was able to successfully climb our torture hill. Yeah. At so, nakita nyo kung mas kas pa nga pagka-start pa lang eh. So, talagang ganun kalakas kapag dual hub ang gamitin nyo from this Ronin X. X. And again, ginagamit pa natin ang single hub kapag umaakyat. Hindi. Kasi as much as possible, we want to ensure na hindi na force yung hubs. But yeah. of course, as we... For this torture test, mm-hmm. we just want to show you how capable per hub ang electric scooter na to. Correct. And moving on na tayo, since nasa taas na ng torture test si ating Miko, paano naman siya bumaba para sa ating braking test? How did it go? Well, uh, of course, as you can see, uh, walang pigil habang bumababa. Kung nasa base na ako na ating torture hill, doon ako pumindot ng brakes at may konting pag... Speed. Pag-skid yan. Pag-skidy Marie as I call it. And hindi din ako natakot actually. Maganda yung feel ng mechanical brakes niya. Hindi siya mahirap pigain. Ito ang X na makapit. <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward. I'm moving on na tayo para sa ating Ford Performance Actual Test. Uh-huh. Para sa ating speed test, you can click the I button here for the results of all the speed modes from this Ronin X. Mm-hmm. Which is the gear 3 for single hub and 1, 2, 3, 4, the... Wow, hubs. Yes. Okay, now moving on na tayo para sa ating pros and cons. Ibabalik na natin si ating boy, let's go, aka Boinks. Dito mo. Miko, this Dito mo, Boinks. Dito mo, Boinks. Bye-bye. At nagbabalik si Tita mo, Boinks. <laughs> Joke lang. Yan. Si boy, boy, let's go, aka Boinks. Para simulan na natin pros and cons. At para sa first pro natin, pag-usapan na natin yan. Boinks, pasukan mo. Alright, so for this electric scooter, the first pro that everyone can clearly see Naman. would be its LED lights. Kahit ako rin. Yes. Very clear has a lot of options. Even sa araw, kitang-kita siya. Maganda siya tignan sa mata. Since it's already pre-installed out of the box, hindi mo na kailangan mag-isip 
sa ang lupalop ng aftermarket shops ka pupunta para magpakabet ng LED lights. Ito ang X na hindi na kailangan ng kabet. <laughs> Moving on naman tayo para sa ating second pro ng electric scooter na to. Ang pinaka gusto ko dito ay ang kanyang slick, very very slick design and cool looks. And if you don't agree, it's okay. You can actually check uh, other reviews of yes. the Ronin scooters that we've had here. You can actually click on the i button here. At the top right corner. Correct. So that you can have an idea of what type of units styles does the Ronin scooters, scooters have. At moving on na tayo para sa ating second pro ni Boinks. That's my first pro. Now moving on sa ating second pro from you. Go! I'll take it away! Take for it away. <laughs> <laughs> so for my next pro, that would be the suspension. It may not be the most comfortable, but it's firm enough to feel that you have enough stability on your electric scooter. And having an option to have it replaced as an aftermarket park, like it's a good I, I, one. yeah, it's a, it's a good option. I think you can change it to air suspension yes. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so that you can get a more comfortable feel. But getting that option is always a good thing. And eto na ipapasok ko na i-add ko lang sa pro na to is kung bakit advantages pa din yung current yung current niya yung suspension. yung yes mm. yung stock niya na suspension. Which brings me to my second pro. For my second pro is its stability. So because of this suspension na hindi ganun ka soft, dun naman pumapasok yung pagiging stable niya. Actually, na-try ko siya patakbuhin. Even in above average speed, ano siya, kaya ko siya i-one-hand eh. So, pero hindi ko siya in-advise na gawin ninyo on the road. Pero during our test, trinay ko yung stability niya and I tried using just one hand and wala, wala siyang wabo. It works. So it really works. It really functions well. And probably one of the factors kaya naging very stable yung electric scooter na to because of its suspensions. Because not all C-type suspensions, kilala ang C-type suspensions na meron talagang wobbleness. Eh. Correct. So, Correct. malaking pasasalamat sa build na ito, wala siyang wobble. Very stable, very good, and that's my second pro for you, Caballeros. Alright! So, we'll move on to the next pro. And before we continue this video, syempre kung nagustuhan niyo ang ating content, don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, hit the subscribe, subscribe button. button. And syempre, huwag na nakalimutang i-hit ang ating notification bell para inform kayo kapag may bagong videos! Actually, aside from the overall look of the electric scooter, the next pro that I actually have is something that comes in with the overall package which is this device here at the back which is your brake lights, signal lights, turn lights, alarm, and horn. It's it, a package. Yes, yeah. it's a very, very good package. It has everything that you need when you're driving outside, even when at night. Kasi kitang kita, and as you can see guys, maganda yung positioning kasi mataas facing, siya. Ano siya. Facing at the back. Yes. So mataas siya. So even uh, other vehicles can clearly see if you're turning left, right, if you're braking, or wherever you are going. At isa rin pa sa mga pro neto is may tunog yung mga signal lights niya. So hindi lang siya visible, hearable pa siya. Charet, pero yun, naririnig siya. Hearable, right. let's go. go. <laughs> dictionary, Rice's Dictionary. Rice's Dictionary. Hearable, let's, let's go. go. Moving on tayo sa next pro ng electric scooter na to. For me, ito nagustuhan ko to, personal liking ko to. So, i-add ko siya sa pro ng Ronin X is its stock grips. So, yung stock grips niya maganda kasi makapit. And as what we've said earlier, during the early part of the review, sabi nga ni Miko, it's not too hard. Sakto lang yung lambot niya and it's not too wide. Yes. Para doon sa mga hindi mahilig sa my palm rest. Okay? Yan. So, kaya nagustuhan ko rin siya. Kasi yung palm rest niya, not too big. Enough siya, hindi siya masakit sa baba ng palm. Eh, ako kasi medyo particular line. talaga ako eh. Ayoko na, kaya hindi din ako mahilig sa palm rest kasi gusto kong full grips ako. At ayoko yung medyo may bulk. But this one, even meron siyang slight, okay lang. Reasonable, tolerable, good. Moving on. Alright, so for the next pro on this electric scooter, it would be this rubber mat. Ang ganda. Ang ganda niya. Promise. Ito yung ex na pati asawa mo magugustuhan. Well said. <laughs> Ito ang ex na magugustuhan ng asawa mo. Going back. Going back. <laughs> so as you can see guys, with the rubber mat, the Ronin logo, the Ronin name, the design, the way that it's set up, 
the meaning behind it, everything has been, you know, prepared carefully for the consumers. So this is like a love letter by the Ron Scooter team para ipaalam sa inyo kung ano yung research and care na ginagawa nila bago sila maglabas ng isang UV. Just to provide you the quality electric scooters from Ronin. Correct. Moving on naman tayo para sa next pro. Galing sa akin. At syempre, ito yung first ever na meron sa Ronin na na-review namin. The newly improved throttle. Dahil this is the first ever throttle na may kita ninyo from Ronin na I think it's already waterproof. From its build, it is a waterproof throttle. Even by the, just by the looks of it. Pero kung hindi ganito ang throttle nyo, you can click the i button here how to waterproof your electric scooter throttle. Moving on to our next one. Go. And I think this would be the last pro because for me, this is a big pro. That would be the charging ports. I actually, actually like... Actually, yung last uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, we agree that this is one of the last pros that this scooter has is the charging ports. Its placement is very, very good. Hindi siya prone sa disgrasya. Makikita mo if it's left open, makikita mo kung nababasa siya, and you will know if everything is okay. The placement is good. Hindi siya sagabal sa paa mo. Hindi ka, it doesn't affect. Especially dun sa mga typical stance na mm-hmm. one, foot one foot at the front. One foot at so the most front. likely, pasok naman yung paa ninyo, hindi siya talaga sagabal. Correct. So yon. So the charging ports really, really good. Good for you, Ron Scooter P. And that wraps up our pros from this electric scooter. Moving on, naman tayo para sa cons ng electric scooter na to. Boings, pasukan mo ng first con. Go. All right. So first con, this one would be a bit personal on my end. Kasi may hilig ako sa scooters na torque. So this scooter, to be honest with you guys is as what I can say a cruise type electric scooter so hindi ganun kabilis yung speed nya hindi ganun kabilis yung takbo ng speed nya pero when you're already riding at the speed that it has it's very it feels very comfortable cruise mode chill ka lang pag pinapatakbo mo tong scooter na doon din pumapasong yung stability nya yes correct so hindi ka magbo-worry na bigla kang kakalad ka rin at may iwan yung kaluluwa mo pero if you're the type of person who likes torquey electric scooters, fast ones, this wouldn't be the scooter for you. But if you're the type of person who likes to chill and just ride safe, this is the perfect electric scooter for you. Ito ang X na comfortable kasama. Moving on naman na tayo para sa second ko ng electric scooter na to. Para sa akin yung suspension, because I'm a fan of comfortable suspension, but as a workaround, na-mention naman namin earlier, na you can upgrade it into an air suspension, or actually ito, pwede naman comfortable enough naman yung stock niya. But as for me as a fan of uh, comfortable scooters talaga, might as well, pwede ako mag-upgrade for a more comfortable suspension. But the suspension of this stock one is already reasonable. Not too much, not too less. Moving on sa ating third. Meron ka pa. Alright. Ako, I think, it can be a pro, but it's not a big deal for me. I would be the brakes. The braking mechanism used here is mechanical. Of course, it would always be better if we have hydraulic, but the way that the brakes work is strong enough, and it's not gonna give you a lot of worry. Tulad nga ng sabi ni Miko kanina, nag-skid siya konti, but it's not that much of a big deal that it would make you worry. So, yes. Few adjustments lang? Mm-hmm. Few adjustments lang. So, konting laro lang dun sa higpit or sa lalim ng pag-brake uh, So, for me, the mechanical brakes is okay, but it can be better improved by hydraulic brakes. Your option, Kabalia. And I think this will be my last con for this electric scooter and just a minor con. Dahil sa looks na napansin ko na this is a good one, as mentioned ko earlier, the only one that concerns me is a minor part is this one, yung spring. But the good news is, sa mga paparating na stock na ito, magiging black na siya. So it would fit in sa electric scooter na to. So that's a good improvement from this Ronin X. And that would be my last con from this electric scooter. At meron pa tayong nakalimutan na pro para dito. Ano? At hindi pa payag si Miko na hindi ito mabanggit. Dahil ito ang gusto niya sa Ronin X. Alam mo kung ano yan? It's the tubeless tires yes, ng electric scooter sorry. na to. Dahil marami nagkakandara pa sa isang electric scooter na tubeless tires na kagad out of the box. Correct. At kung ito ang scooter na pipiliin niyo for a dual hub upgrade, tubeless na to, wala na kayong problema para sa mga flat tires, punctures, and all. Bawa sa beriya, dere-derecho, sa kalsada. Yes, at lagyan nyo lang ng sealant, ipartner nyo lang ng sealant, you are good to go, you are free to ride. Alright. So I think we've summed up everything, but I think I have one more. This electric scooter doesn't have 
a K-Nation and Voltmeter. Pero paano siya naging pro? Naging pro siya kasi hindi mapupuno yung handlebar mo mm. ng kung ano-ano. You will have enough space to put in other okay. things like your lights, phone, um, holder. phone holder, mga ganon. So, hindi ka mag-worry na mapupuno agad yung space ng handlebar mo dahil meron kang K-Nation and Voltmeter. At medyo makapal pa kasi yung Voltmeter. Exactly. And the throttle itself already has self-sufficient na siya the, yes the voltmeter and based on experience by our co-cabaleros it is pretty accurate so hindi ka na mag-aalala kung tama ba yung voltage ng electric scooter mo o hindi and that wraps up our pros and cons from this electric scooter which is the Ronin X what the oh hi <laughs> bakit ba't ka na Ah, wala ko. Mayroon ako isang po. Habulin mo kami? Ah, che. <laughs> so what is it? Ito yung ex na hahabulin mo. Ah, okay, kasi ang hinahabul ko dito is, di ba yung ating buttons for the signal lights, for the alarm and the horn, it's removable. So it actually acts like um, a key itself. So for me, it's a pro, another pro, kasi safe ka na, you know, hindi siya basta-basta magagalaw. Yan ang ex mo na may alarm. <laughs> and that wraps up our pros and cons from this Ronin. X. Para naman sa ating last segment dito is our Caballero Discount. Paano natin maupuhay? Anong gagawin? All you need to do is just message us on our Facebook page. That's Team Caballero. And inform us that you are interested to buy the Ronin X. And we will give you the discount code para makuha nyo siya ng may discount, of course. And for our question of the day, Ito ba ang X na matutuwa ang asawa mo? <laughs> Write down in the comments below. Up, up, up. Tag mo na rin ang X-Mo! We want to know! <laughs> And that's it for today, mga kabalieros. See you on the next one! Peace! Kasi lagi naman natin kilala. kilala actually, kilalang kilala na ang Ronin pagdating sa mapormang sasakyan. <laughs> So, as you can see, the uh, charging port, there's two of them, they're both on the top. They do not, they do not, mm. promise, they do not. Anong word is? <laughs>